Cancer is many things, but the one single thing that perhaps it is the most is it's a wake-up call. Okay, my life is going to change, like it or not, and how are you, how do you want it different? Write down areas that you want your life different. Before cancer, did you take your marriage for granted? Before cancer, did you feel like you were never really connected? Before cancer, did you feel like your, your womanliness wasn't really that meaningful? Well, those are things to really change in cancer because you can have all three of those things. Remember, when you have cancer, he suffers. And he suffers because he loves you and he's terrified that something that he can't help with this. And so anytime you can help him, you, you want to. And you being, you wanting your sex life back is going to be the best thing you can do for him. Because he's going to really feel like, oh my God, I please her. And when you take everything else away from a man, that's all he wants. One in three women will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. So given that most of us are women here, you can take a look at your neighbors, look to either side of you. One of you, if not already diagnosed, will be at some point in your lifetime. Five to 10% of all cancers we think have a true hereditary, a single gene component running through the family. If you think about the other end of the spectrum, we think about 60%, which is a lot, of cancers generally are not hereditary or um, not a single gene problem running through a family. So this can be habit related, age related, exposure related. And then we think there's also a middle point, a combination of the habits and the heredity, if you will, that we think accounts for about 20 to 30% of all cancers. This can be personal histories of cancer or family histories of cancer as well. So we started this whole talk with habits versus heredity as kind of like two, two different agents, you know, your family history, your personal lifestyle habits. Well, what we've come to know throughout this talk is actually it's habits and heredity that matter. We need to think about both things. We need to know our family history. We need to go home. We need to talk to our family members about cancer, heart disease, diabetes. We need to know what's going on. For cancer, the questions that we want to know are what was the primary cancer that whatever relative had and how old were they when they had it? Because from a genetic standpoint, from a hereditary risk standpoint, that matters. And also, sit down and look at your own personal habits, all the stuff that we just <coughs> talked about earlier. Analyze yourself and know where you stand. And if you can, you can tweak your habits to help your heredity define your own cancer risk, hopefully to lower those risks so that maybe you won't have to be in this situation.